Hi everyone, welcome to Paula M. Jade's Place. My name is Paula. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you enjoy my videos, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a $500, a $500, <laughs> a 500 subscriber giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers. I think I'm at 470, something like that. So here, soon in the near future, I'll be doing a video with what is going to be in there. I'm not sure really what's put in there because if I put fall things in there and by the time I reach 500 it's not fall anymore I don't know so I've got stuff that I've accumulated and we'll see what happens anyway if you're a current subscriber welcome back I want you to know I appreciate you I appreciate everyone who watches my videos comments likes I just love you all and I thank you for watching okay so today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you um, a lot of different things I also have uh, two DIYs to share with you, and um, a couple of the things from the DIYs are from this haul as well. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> um, oh, I got a few fall things, but this is not going to be in any particular order, but I've already started using, well, I've opened some of these things to go to see if they would uh, go well in my DIY and I'm not sure so I'm going to um, these these burlap weaves are just like yucky <laughs> they're linty they're falling apart anyway um, I got three packs of the burlap weaves so this is what they look like uh, I don't know if they have a size on here it just says five piece I'm gonna see if I can dig out my ruler here I got these because they were big and uh, my DIYs are pumpkins with the pumpkin uh, wreath form. So um, these are like from top to bottom, they're about five inches. And then from side to side, they're about five and a half. So um, I got this color, which is like a burlap, kind of a brownish tannish. I got this color, which I've already opened to see if it would go. Uh, this is like a kind of a greenish, you see the difference. And then I also got the orange one. So I got these three. I already have like the leaves from the foliage, but they're kind of small. I didn't find any big ones. I thought maybe uh, these would work. I'm not sure, but um, they have, I'll take, take them out again. I just put them in there. They, they come kind of stuck together. You gotta pull them apart. They have a um, little stem, a metal stem here. It's like, <laughs> you know what? The older I get, the less patience I have. I never was a very patient person, but now I just don't have patience. I like, I'm like, if something doesn't, stuff like this, if it doesn't go my way, I get really exasperated. I don't know if it's like from chronic pain or what the heck it is, but <coughs> anyway, enough of that. Whew. The fans on is. This like stuff is blowing in my, oh, I could see there's like a little thing right there. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's the leaf and then it's got a little, so you could kind of do something with this. I'll, I'll show you after I'm done with the haul, um, how this is, what I'm trying to do with these. I'm just gonna put this aside right here. Okay, and these leaves, I'll put them over here. Um, Oh, okay. A sticker just came off of something else on this. So I had seen these pencils. These are like eight eight pack of pencils, mechanical pencils. These are really pretty. Um, number two, and it's by Zen Zebra Zen. Find Zen Zebra. They had different um styles. I got this one because it had some purple in it right there. And they're really cute. They look like a pencil. I don't need any more pencils. I have a ton of mechanical pencils from when I used to homeschool. Um, but I, I used to like the ones that where you pull off the tip and then you put it on top. There's like a bunch of tips in there and you just pull it off and it's already sharp. So these, I'm assuming you just advance the lead. But they're so cute. They look just like a real pencil. So I'm gonna open one up for us if I have my scissors here. Um, just to uh, see because I'm curious. I mean, I'm sure I know what they what they do, but 
I just want to see exactly. Oh, okay, one fell and it's the purple one. So it has your eraser right there. And it looks just like a pencil, but there's no point there right now. Sorry about the lighting, it's not that great. Okay, so I think you just, yeah, you hit the thing to advance. Yeah, and there it is. How cool is that? Oh, and they write really nice. They're number two. Yep, they write good. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, got that. And then I had this on. I made a short of this. This is, I'm sure you guys have seen it already, the LED shadow projector. So I don't really celebrate Halloween. I mean, I give out candy if the kids come. And, you know, when my son was little, we used to do Halloween, like take him for candy. And I just do the fun stuff, not the scary stuff. I'm not into that. But now I don't, you know, so this like little designs on it and it lights up it's it's a fun thing i think it takes three AAA batteries what's that say oh my goodness i should have been more prepared my glasses okay so i think it's three AAA batteries i just want to tell you, yeah three AAA batteries so i have them in there already and if you go to my uh shorts i have a short with it on now a lot of people were saying um, see how it just like flashes on and off after you have it on for a while it stays on the different um, so if you're not good with flashing don't look but after it stays on a while it doesn't flash on and off it stays on but the different characters flash at different times so you don't have like a you know a flashing on and off I'm gonna leave it on for a minute and I'll show you uh, when it starts just to stay on because I thought, well, what the heck do I want that for if it's going to flash on and off? I want to be able to see that all the time. So, um, yeah. The next thing I purchased is this Vaseline all-purpose cream with Vaseline jelly, glycerin, and vitamin E for soft, healthy skin. I think I purchased this last year. Gave it to my husband. He never used it. I stumbled upon it like a few weeks ago. I'm like, you're not going to use this? I'm going to use it. I got to tell you, it's really nice for the hands especially. It's very soft. Uh, it makes your hands soft and moisturized. So I'm already almost done with it. I think somebody's already opened this here. But, I mean, it's very small. What did I say it was? Like an ounce or something? Anyway, it's um, rough elbows, knees, cracked heels, and dry hands. Uh, I don't see what it says. It's very small. But I was going to, I figured, well, maybe I can always get it from Walmart, but I don't want to get a big one in case, you know, it takes me forever to use it. So I just got this little one, but I would recommend this. This is really nice. Or you can just use regular old Vaseline, but this is a, more creamy, so it's not as greasy. Okay, this is on now. I'm going to show it to you. You see how it stays on? It doesn't, it just, the characters change. If you don't like flashing, don't look. I think that's so cool. So you project it on the ceiling and it takes the whole ceiling. It's really neat. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Thanks for indulging me there. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Oh, this is a repeat purchase as well. This is a foot file. I bought a couple of these, I don't know, last year. And I have the, you know, like that. I have the ped egg and I have the bigger foot file. But sometimes I'm in a hurry, I don't have time to be. So this works pretty good. Um, you know, I think it's safer than those metal files. You can just file right down and all of a sudden you have no skin left. These are not, you know, I don't think you can do that with these. And and they're they're good though. So I got this one. And what else did I get? Oh, a couple of food items. So I had hauled this Hungry Jack Complete Pancake uh, uh, Mix, the original. A while back because my husband eats pancakes once in a while excuse me uh, September 7 2024 is the expiration and um, a couple of weeks ago he decided oh I want some pancakes so he opened it up and you know it's only a little bit left now so he told me to get him some more for when he feels like a pancake and um, they're good 
I haven't eaten pancakes in a long time, but I did fix them for him and he liked them. So it's just, um, you add milk. Yeah, you add milk, just milk to the, the mix. And they are 130 calories, it's 12 servings per container. So there's that. And I also purchased, um, I purchased the Kelowna um, regular breadcrumbs before, but these are panko breadcrumbs. Uh, so I got these because panko breadcrumbs are pretty expensive, I gotta tell you. Uh, this expires on 316 2025 so I got a while, and I like to do these with my seafood stuffing. I use this, um, or just even if I make like stuffing for turkey, I use this as well with with regular breadcrumbs. But and I also like to toast these in some butter, and then just sprinkle them on top of my fish or seafood that I make. Uh, stuff. I sometimes I make baked stuffed shrimp. Uh, if there's lobster around, sometimes I do that. But our lobster, we're in you know, inland, so the lobster's been frozen God knows how many times. It's not like when I lived on the East Coast, you know, just go to the pier and grab one from the fishermen, but it is what it is. Um, and I also got this Care All chest rub, medicated chest rub, cough suppressant. So this compares to Vicks. Vicks is really expensive. I can't even believe it. This expires on 12026. So we're gonna give this a try, just getting prepared for the winter. You know how it is, you never know. My mom, I hated Vicks. My mom used to put that on my chest when I had a cold and it was so greasy and yep. But I gotta tell you, it worked pretty good, but I never liked it. Now as a grown up, I use it like as a last resort. My son, my husband, no. <clears throat> I also purchased this uh, Pure Castile Soap. So um, I purchased it in the peppermint I've, I'm sure you've seen this on everybody's channels. They have almond, I think they have charcoal, and lavender. So the lavender smells pretty good. I'm not a fan of lavender. I'm certainly not a fan of peppermint, but when I smelled this, it smells really good. So I got the peppermint. We'll give it a shot. It's uh, made with olive oil, coconut oil, and shea butter, five ounces. It's not that big, but, um, and it's not, there's no packaging on it. Like it's it's not, there's no plastic around it. It's just like that. My mom used to buy this kind of soap. It lasts a lot longer than the other kind, I, from what I remember, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll give that a shot. To me, I'm thinking of one bar of soap for $1.25, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. I did hear again somewhere on, um, Somebody shared a, a, an article about Dollar Tree the other day saying they are going to um, reduce some of the prices back to a dollar on some of the things, like I think three or four hundred things. The CEO was saying, well, what good is having, um, you know, something for a dollar twenty-five when somebody can purchase it, you know, another retailer is selling it for a dollar. So he says we have to be competitive. I have no idea when it's going to happen. The article did say probably by the end of the year. And I don't know what it's gonna be, but we shall see. Anyway, oh, I did get this mirror. This thing just came off on my other, the sticker came off on my other. Uh, I don't know what it was it stuck to. Anyway, my husband broke a mirror and I thought, okay, well I have one, I'll give you, but I wanted this one, I, wanted, I needed another one. These are very flimsy, they're very light. The one he had was a heavy one. But I remember when Dollar Tree used to have bigger mirrors and heavier, you know, more of a substance to them. Not anymore. That's okay. It doesn't give you the size. Um, I'll measure it though. It is, just the mirror part's about five inches. The whole thing is about 10 and a half. So yeah, and I got the purple one, of course. Ooh, my hair looks nasty today. <laughs> They, that sticker doesn't want to stay on. Alrighty, and then this is a repeat purchase. I'm sure you've all seen these. I've purchased these before as well. Um, the Wizard, um, I should just keep my glasses on, I got to say. I don't know, today I'm not seeing that well. Where did I put my, oh. Huh. Bear with me. Okay, these are the Wizard 
uh, what do you call them? Crystal beads air freshener. So nine ounces, and I got the tropical citrus, which I've hauled before, and it smells really good. So I got another one. I did also haul the morning mist. I haven't opened that one yet. And then I saw a new scent today, rose, rose bouquet. I am not a fan of rose at all, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see. So the other one is pink, the morning mist, and this is more of an orangey red. So you can't really smell it from from there because it's it's closed up, it's enclosed. And then I got a bunch of false foliage. I already had some, but I'm making two wreaths, so I wanted to use the some flowers uh, as you know embellishments. I looking through my fall stuff and I thought I had a lot. I had some flowers but not that many. I also needed some ribbon. I haven't found any yet but anyway so I got just colors that I thought would go. Of course there's a purple one in there. Um, this one here is the sunflower bush and you get how many stems? Six stems? Yeah six stems. And I got that color, and then this one here, I think these are, are these mums? Yeah, mums. And I got them in this color. It's more, it, I don't know what it's looking, it's kind of looking like a reddish on camera, but it's more of a burgundy color. And then I got this, this is also a chrysanthemum, I believe. Yeah, this is an orange. See the difference? And you get how many stems here? These are only five stems. Okay, and then I got, um, I think this is a sunflower. Sunflower in this, oh, they chipped me. There's one missing, y'all. I thought I looked at it. Sunflowers are six, but there's only five. So these are kind of a yellow, yellow orange. And then I got the yellow sunflowers. See, there's six in this one. And then these are cone flowers. These have one, two, three, four, five purple ones. So um, I am making two wreaths. I did go to the Dollar Tree and I have seen these, sorry, <laughs> I've seen these um, DIYs where they have the pumpkin wreath and people wrap a sweater around it and make a DIY with it. Others doing all kinds of other things. So I bought two wreaths. I figured I'd put them together as a centerpiece and wrap my flower around, my flower, my sweater around it. Yeah, it didn't work so good. You have to put a board in between. And I really kind of just wanted it to hang on my door. So since I bought two wreaths, excuse me, I'm going to pick them up. <laughs> since I bought two wreath forms for a uh, pumpkin wreath forms, I figured, okay, well then I'll just make two, two pumpkins, right? To hang on my door or on a wall. So the first one I want to show you was the easiest one. I can't show you the wreath form because I've already used it, but you know what it looks like. I painted it white, this is the inside, because my sweater was a light color and I didn't want, it's a very dark green this form. It looks black, but when you take it out in the sun, it's like an evergreen color. So anyway, I just got my sweater. I had an old sweater, one of those like fuzzy sweaters. I think it was from the Limited or something from years ago. It was a cardigan, so I couldn't double it up, you know, to make it thicker. I just had to use one part of the, of the um, sweater. So what I did was I wrapped it around the wreath form. I hot glued it. I used those Dollar Tree, um, what do you call those things, clips to hold it as I uh, hot glued it so it would stay. And then I pulled it not too tight. Then I used some chicken wire because if you see the, the um, stem is small, it's probably that, that size. But I used some chicken wire. I got that idea somewhere. I was looking on YouTube like crazy to, re to build the, um, you know, the stem. Some people just use like a brown paper bag and just crush, you know, like scrunch it up and then some masking tape. I used the um, chicken wire. I had it from last year and I never knew what to do with it. So there you go. So I kind of built it up there with my pliers and then I wrapped Dollar Tree twine around it. And then, uh, the, none of this is glued on, this is just an idea. Um, what I did was I took the, what do you call it, the garland from Dollar Tree and I kind of just hung it on there. And then this was one of those picks I hauled from the Dollar Tree, the fall picks. 
I just shoved it in there so you guys could see. But I'm going to try to use leaves. That, that was the purpose of buying leaves, to stick them somewhere on here or on the other one. The other one's a different color. And then um, using some of these flowers. Now, I wanted this one to have a purple theme, but since I didn't have a lot of purple, and then I think this looks pretty darn good on there. Uh, I did replace the um, tassel with my own tassel, and I left this hanging thing here. I might just do and replace that with the tassel too. I don't know. This is the sunflower one, and this is the pumpkin one. Now, they did have metal ones too, but they're gone. I don't know. I didn't find them in any of my stores. So this is one of them. I'm gonna add flowers to it. I'm not sure. You guys, what do you think? I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with it some more. I'll show you when it's all done. But I wasn't sure. And then maybe a bow or maybe just flowers in the tassel. I don't know, what do you guys think? Just comment below and tell me. Give me some advice. You always give me good advice. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna put it down here. And then the other one, I got this idea from this lady on YouTube. Her name is Melanie Ferguson. She's the one that I got the idea from to make those paper um, bag crosses that I made. She just she doesn't post a lot, but when she does, her ideas are so good. I gotta show you this. This is made. First of all, I'll show you what it's made from. I hauled another one because I ran out. It's made from the Jot Craft paper. Looks like brown paper. Well, it is brown paper. It looks like a brown paper bag, but it's a big roll. This is a um, 30 inch by 10 foot roll. So I had this in my stash already. I've used this on the back of my DIYs to finish them off on a lot of them. So I used this and what I did was, or what she did was, she just started cutting strips of paper, like tearing them off of the roll. She said between three and four inches wide. Well, you know me, the bigger the better. <laughs> I like everything just like, you know, grand. So mine ended up being like six inches. So I had, I struggled with it because they were too thick when I um, glued them on the wreath. Anyway, that's what she did. So she said she used about 16 of them and I tore about 16 and that was the end. It took up the whole, my whole roll. So this, that's what she used. And I'm going to show you. She just, she just um, glued them. So this I had painted white as well. You can't see it because I had some, uh, just a little bit of extra paper and I put it on the back so in case there were any see-through holes on the front, you wouldn't see them, you know, because, uh, you guys, this is, she said she did hers in an hour and it was easy. Oh my goodness, it took me two evenings, blisters on my fingers from the hot glue. But what you do is you twist the paper, uh, those long strips of paper, you twist them, you don't braid them or anything, you just twist them and you just glue them on here so you start off in the middle you glue one and then it doesn't it goes all the way to the bottom and then you just turn it and keep going as far as you can then you glue another one and you just fill in as you go and you have this so darn pretty it's for me it was tedious <laughs> that hot glue I don't like to do anything with hot glue but anyway um, this video is getting long I'm sorry but and then what she did was she took more paper just kind of twisted it very very uh, tightly and then she just put it around her stem and around the edge but me mine was so thick it covered up the edge of the pumpkin so I ended up using I took apart one of those Dollar Tree nautical ropes I used one little thing of it and it didn't look right so I used the rest of it and I just put it around here glued it around the edge I don't know if you can see that and then I just wrapped some um, some of that nautical rope around here but I used just one I unraveled the rope like I said and I used one piece all around and then it didn't look right so I used the other two around but I used one unraveled piece for here I don't know if I'm gonna leave that or if I'm gonna make it bigger or whatnot but there's your rope and then I had just a little paper left over and like I said I put it in here so I didn't have a whole piece I just kind of you know patched it together so you couldn't see through it from the front you know when you hang it up you can see right through the light and I didn't want to do that and you can you know patch it in as you go from the front but this way even if you don't have it all the way patched it's, it's gonna look good from the back so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I had this I thought maybe I could hang this somewhere down here maybe with a bow and some flowers 
and the purpose of getting these was also to do something with this. This color doesn't go, but maybe the orange um, leaves. I don't even know what I did with them. <laughs> Here somewhere. Anyway, that was my idea. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I just found something else from my Dollar Tree haul that I didn't show you. So yeah, so that's that. So maybe a bow and some foliage and just kind of hang this. I, I thought it came out okay. My husband, who doesn't care anything about, you know, he's oblivious to any kind of decorating or whatever. He just says it looks good or not good. Man, that looks really good. I was like, oh, thank you. Even my son said it. I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's that. So, you know, Dollar Tree sells these. I hauled these last week, and I still see, did still see some today. So, you know, if you guys are looking for them. So that'll be, I'll show you when it's done, whatever I figure out. But I do want to show you this as well. I was, I've been looking for the rub-on transfer letters and they didn't have any, so I hauled these stickers, ABC, um, Alphabet. They're kind of, I like the style. I like the, the uh, what's her name, Ray Dunn kind of style lettering. This is not exactly like that, but kind of. They're gray. I figured I could always paint them <clears throat> if I needed to, but I prefer the rub-on. Anyway, I got two, so I'd have enough letters to do whatever I wanted to do. And now, that's it for my haul. <laughs> uh, sorry this video was so long. I just wanted to share with you, um, you know, what I was doing. And if you want to, um, you know, see how it's done, how that pumpkin is done, the paper, the craft paper pumpkin, Melanie Ferguson is her name. If I remember, I'll link her channel in the uh, description box. And I want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, don't forget, I'm almost at 500 subscribers, so I would appreciate it if you would, um, you know, share. And also watch to the end of my videos. That gives me some watch time. Um, yeah, and that's it. Oh, I'm going to do, I did take some videos, so I might do a walkthrough video if I have enough film. I don't know if I have enough footage, I should say. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Until next time, be well and be blessed.